Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you what to do if your Zoho workflow automations are no longer working or they're not working for whatever reason. The steps you would go through in order to find what's not working um, and fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Okay. So right now I'm in the contacts module. Here we've got a bunch of uh, contacts. Um, however, I have a workflow uh, rule that I've set up and that workflow rule is not working. So what do we do? Let's start by going to the workflow rules. I go to workflow rule in automation. The first thing you always wanna check this is the workflow rule on. So right now it's inactive. So that's number one. So let's just click this active. Right. So we're going to open this up and um, we're going to want to check the failures. This is a new feature from Zoho. Um, if there are failures, I don't have any in mind. Um, if there are failures, you will be able to check. And as you can see, I don't have any failures in mind. Even if I go back 90 days, I might be able to find one in the loops. Uh, loops for YouTube video. And let's go back custom range, let's say 90 days. No, there's no failures, but you can check that way. So let's open up the update contact one. There's no failures to look at. Um, so the next thing we'd want to check if it wasn't working, so we'll cl click view configurations, um, is this is new-ish, right? But you want to make sure that your condition and your when is not conflicting. So right here is rule, rule be executed when the account name is modified to a value containing solar and the account name isn't a solar city in this case. In our CRM, we don't have any instances where, where that's the case. So it runs, but doesn't work. So we can go in here and say, um, is modified to any value, right? So anytime that, uh, that field is modified and the account name isn't Solar City, it's going to update a field. The other thing you can check is this. You wanna make sure that this is, is, is exact, right? Um, so this isn't, you can do contains or starts with ends with, but thing to remember is if you do contains solar, this solar is different than this solar. So if you have capital or lowercase, um, this might be the problem. So let's just do all contacts doing this, change criteria. So if those are the problems, um, you know, make sure that you're spelling things properly, using the right spacing, periods, capitalization, et cetera. So the next thing down is this field update. So what to do um, if this isn't working for some reason. If the function is, if I click save, if you see the function is in um, like there's success, it's saying success, but it's not updating the field. Uh, well, you might want to rip off the Band-Aid and move this to a Zoho Deluge function. Um, lucky for us, this is a channel that teaches you how to use Deluge. So let's just, so in this case, we can click this and says it updates the industry to solar. Right, so if whatever reason this isn't working, let's just minus this out and let's add a function. Right, we're going to write our own update industry to solar. Great, and then finally, if you have a function already connected to your workflow and that's not working, um. Two things you want to check. One, that your arguments is done properly, right? So we can say, um, you know, ID module is contacts and field is contact ID. You want to make sure that you have this in here, right? You have the argument and where it comes from. Uh, if those aren't mapped, it's not going to work. Info ID. D dot get data. And finally, this is going to error out and it's perfect. The other thing you want to check, so at this point we can check 
Um, anytime the account name is modified, it's going to do this thing. So let's go to account name. Let's go to uh, someone on my team. Uh, let's go to the account name oh, and let's change the account. Um, test. Let's just add Jordan to this company. Check that off. And you'll notice it doesn't, doesn't do anything. It, normally they would say, you know, workflow was, was run, right? So if I go back, go to update contact, you'll see the one failure now. Argument mistypes. And then you can see the failure reason here. You can also go back and see the failure reason. You go to developer space functions and failures, you can see the exact reason here. So then you can bug, uh, bug fix, know um, why your, your workflow rule didn't run. Um, the important thing to know is it won't show up on this timeline unless it works completely, All right? I hope this video is helpful. I'll see you in the next video.